In a previous video in the upper right, we showed you how to remove, service, and install pedals. A number of viewers and other people wrote in with suggestions about stuck pedals and how to remove them. We'd like to show you those as well as a few of our own tips on removing stuck or seized pedals. Spray around the pedal spindle with a penetrating solvent. Some use WD-40. My preference is something called Knocker Loose, which is a penetrating solvent that removes rust and corrosion. You do is you want to place some of the Knocker Loose right around the where the spindle connects to the crank. I prefer to leave it overnight if possible and respray in the morning before I remove the pedal. Depends on how much time you have. Always make sure you're in the large chain ring so you don't cut yourself on the sharp edges of the chain ring itself. Some pedals have flanges that allow you to remove it with a pedal wrench. Others require a hex key. Some have a choice of either. If you have a choice and there are flanges present, use your large pedal wrench. You'll get a lot more torque. Now for some of these techniques you may need a floor stand as I have here in the back or somebody holding the bike, which will make it a lot easier. My uh, favorite technique is that which we use for BMX and flat pedals, but also work for Look and SPD pedals. Place your wrench on the flanges of the pedal spindle. Bring the wrench flat. Take your foot as though you were going to cycle. Only, instead of pushing down with the toe, Push mostly with the heel and we can see right away the pedal becomes loose. Our next technique is again using our pedal wrench but this time long piece of piping a couple of dollars from Home Depot. Place it squarely on the pedal. Get a nice firm grip on the back and then push down with enough force to release the pedal. One of our viewers who works a lot on vintage and old bicycles ties down the pedal to the chainstay opposite the one you're trying to remove to keep the crank from moving. With one of the cranks tied down he then uses this pedal wrench and cheater bar and then goes ahead and pushes until he frees up the pedal. This is probably fine for steel and titanium. I would caution you about using it on a bike with thin aluminum and not use it on carbon fiber for fear of, da of damaging the chainstay. One method suggested by RJ the Bike Guy, see it at the upper right, is to use a 2x4. Go ahead and attach your pedal wrench. We'll also use our cheater bar. Pushing on the cheater bar while holding the 2x4 may get that stubborn pedal off. <clears throat> there we go. Probably the downside of doing this is you may chip or damage the paint on the seat post. You definitely don't want to use this on carbon fiber. So if you go for this technique it's a last resort and I'd be very cautious. If you have other ideas that have worked for you please comment below and let us know. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.